Hey guys, we're back. We still got roughly an hour left to stream, so we can still get stuff done. We got Honey Hitman back in chat with us. We got Long. We got. Oh good, I'm strong enough to just murder these dudes now. Good. We got Log, we got a Sane. Arena's here. You are welcome. We've gotten Toon Jong quite a few times in the past few days, too, so. Eventually we'll see Angry Jokobo again. Looks like someone wants to die. Right now we're heading to uh, Ginger Town to uh, face off against Dude Man, but we're gonna do the side quest here first. Go. Oh, wait, no, am I? What the fuck is this? Oh, it's these two. What the fuck? It's these two again. Hmm. Now then, where could it be? I'm quite famished. Hey. What are you two doing here? Oh? Look, I'll cut straight to the point. If you know what's good for you, you'll leave this place. Oh. Would you happen to be an earthling? Yep. Oh my, the people here are green as well. Yeah. Do your ears not work or something? I told you to get the hell out of here. We just arrived on this planet. They're not exactly the listening type, are they? Just who the hell are you two anyway? <laughs> We're just tourists. Filthy rich tourists, that is. Oh, 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 we've come here to taste some of this planet's delicacies. Yep. We're lucky we happened to meet you. Would you be willing to show us around? <laughs> not a chance. There's a monster in this area. I'm here to hunt it down and exterminate it. That's it! That's what we've come here for! What? That's right, we'd love to dine on that monster. You want to eat it? Oh, wow. oh, don't you Earthlings eat it? <laughs> what a waste. It's surprisingly delicious. Oh, it, it is? I, it must have been quite embarrassing for you to live on Earth and not know the taste of Durasaurus. Durasaurus. Isn't this the monster you're after, a Durasaurus? Yeah. It's a monster that can only be found here on Earth. It's one of the rarest dinosaurs in existence. We hear that its tail meat is a simply to die for. Hmm. Hmm. A dinosaur, huh? Looks like we're after two completely different monsters. Anyway, you're gonna have to save your little sightseeing trip for another time. It's too dangerous here. Oh, that's a real shame. I guess we'll just go looking for a Durasaurus on our own, then. Come again? We've traveled a great deal to come to Earth. We simply must eat that monster. <laughs> you needn't worry, Earthling. You may fear the beast, but we are seasoned travelers. We can handle it. <laughs> Idiots. If I don't do something, these two clowns are going to get themselves killed. These two are you? Alright. An alien couple have come to Earth. And are looking to feast on a dangerous monster. But if left alone, they might be the ones feasted on. Available after completing specific sub -stories. Piccolo, the Earthling. Yeah, these two aliens are not in the show. I don't even think they're in the manga, so... Give me a break. Damn it, I'd better help them. Hmm? What's that now? I'm saying I'll find the Durasaurus meat for you. Oh my, will you? Earthlings are such a friendly folk. Just stay here while I, until I get back, got it? Oh, ho, ho, don't worry, we'll wait. According to our radar, you should be able to find a Durasaurus a little southeast of here. Of course, it's a wild animal, so it probably just won't stay in one place. Okay, got it. Probably the Central Plains. Is the dinosaur near where we fought androids 19 and 20? Alright, so... I'm not at my best. Shut up, Piccolo. Durasaurus is your spirit animal? Yay, gene generic aliens for filler quest. Well, to be fair, the generic aliens are kind of amusing in, in that they're uh, obstinate and rude. They thought us, uh, the Frieza Force, telling them to get off Namek was a, uh, w w was a ploy. Uh, a play. So not completely horrible. And I get some free EXP and items for doing it, so I might as well. It's pretty easy. Oh, that's Nappa. That's not the quest I want. Hmm. Looks like someone wants to die. Get fucking wrecked. This game has an Earthbound feature to it, too. Uh, guys, like uh, that monster I just ran through and killed. It's because I'm way stronger than them, so it just outright kills them. Energy. Huh, there's our Durasaurus.
Disoriented. Looks like it's got like a. Why are you running on spot? Disoriented. Are you serious? Is there a reason you wouldn't move any faster than that? Okay, so apparently Piccolo does not want to move any- and he keeps running on spot like an idiot, what the fuck? Fuck the go. Oh, apparently he can dig underground. That's good to know. Huh, alright. Well, Piccolo, you're the fucking worst at this, dude. Am I shooting it in a dino deck? Okay, do you want to actually not keep in there after I let go of the button? Okay, it keeps doing that. Like, I'll bring the thing up and then it takes like forever for me to get out of the menu. This is giving you Monster Hunter vibes? Yeah, but like a shitty Monster Hunter. Hey, I got it. Hm, this ought to get those two to leave. They should have sent Durasaurus to fight Frieza. Yeah. Durasaurus Balls. That's what the D in Dragon Balls really stands for. DBZ, Durasaurus Ball Z. We did it though. Is he just gonna take me back then? Cause that'd be great. What the fuck is this guy? There you are! You two are proving to be a real pain, you know that? No, no, calm down. It's not good for your health to be so angry. Shut up! A Frieza Force soldier? Just one thing after another, isn't it? Did, did you say Frieza Force? How do you know about the Force? Look, I've got enough pains in the ass to deal with, so I'm just gonna blow you away. Hey, we defeated the Bark Knight! Okay. You're beyond weak, even for a Frieza Force soldier. Why'd you even join? What? W wait, I I'm not a Frieza Force soldier anymore? What? <laughs> I've given up that life to do what I really love. Be a Galactic Travel Guide. The name's Malone. Nice to meet you. Galactic Travel Guide? What's with the Frieza Force uniform? Uh, it's got its perks. For starters, people usually leave me alone if they see me wearing it. You honestly think I'm buying this crap? Oh, oh, oh he's telling the truth, Earthling! Yes. Mr. Malone is our personal travel guide. See? what I tell you? I was just giving them a hard time earlier for wandering off. Tch, how do I get roped into this mess with you clowns? But yeah, if it weren't for these two, I would have been blown to bits when Namek exploded. I was re gonna return to base after that, but since Lord Frieza was done in, I had no job to go back to. I was always more of a foodie than a fighter anyway, so I decided to introduce travelers to amazing dishes of the universe. Oh, Lonk defeated the Bark Knight, yes. Mm. I see. Hey, you're a Namekian, aren't you? We are on Earth, right? Huh. Relax, you're on Earth. I just happen to be a Namekian that lives here. Huh, that's kind of confusing. Well, whatever, what's confusing about that? Wait, you brought back some of that Dorosaurus meat earlier, right? Yeah, the couple asked me to. They took it up right out of my hands. Huh? That's what I thought. I've been trying to die to sink my teeth into some of that stuff. Forget it, snag a taste myself while showing the tourists around. I guess the juiciest, most succulent meat you'll ever eat. Well, you're fresh out of luck there. <laughs> that really hit the spot. It was just a mess mouth-watering as we heard. I don't think we'd end up eating it all in one sitting. What? what? You two ate all of it? Yes, it was fantastic. D did you eat it raw? Of course. Cooking removes some of the meat's natural flavor. Wow. You, you guys are unbelievable. I wanted to try some of it. So, Mr. Malone, uh, where are we going for the next delicacy on our culinary cruise? I would love to try something sweet next. I can't get enough, get through to you, can I? Being a god looks like a real pain. Off to the next planet! This is so exciting, dear. Yeah, yeah, I guess we could stop by Planet Yardrat and try their sweet potatoes. Wow. Oh, potatoes, how lovely! Thank goodness we hired a food expert like you!
All right. So th those were Christine. Christine one and Christine two. I owe you. I get the feeling they caused you a lot of trouble too. Here, you can have this for your patience. Ultimate Bye. fruit juice. Mr. Malone, we should be off now. Hold your horses, guy. Don't you dare leave without me. You'll be sorry if you do. <laughs> I can't wait. Patat. I'm not entirely sure what's going on, but it looks like this setting settles things. At least, I hope it does. Christine and future wife. Did I do this one? Of course, I just did this one. Man, I fucked up. Not that bad. These aliens are Santa and Mrs. Claus on their native planet. Walks into EB. You are definitely gonna see that couple again. Buys two game and a Korok. They had a Korok plush? What other game did you get? You're in trouble. This looks like an excellent app. Guys, we're in Ginger Town. Koroks are adorable. Oh fuck, there he is. That was less dramatic than I thought it would be. Show your face, monster. <laughs> What's going on? I can sense Goku's energy from this creature. And Vegeta and Frieza's too. What the hell are you? Oh, you don't need to know that. All you need to know is that I'm going to enjoy you as my next meal, Demon King Piccolo. Spirit Hunter NG, I've never heard of that. How do you know my name? Like I said, there's no need for you to know. Now prepare to be devoured. I see. So you're not gonna talk, huh? You've got the wrong Namekian. Sorry to disappoint. Believe it or not, I think I'm actually kind of glad you rid the town of all of its residents. And why is that? Because now I don't have to hold back. See, okay, so... Cell's entrance was very anticlimactic. Um, it'd be really nice if they... The did it like in the anime where they made it a lot better. Like, they, they, they do a good job with some things, and others they, they don't. Well, no, there's a lot of things they do really well, but they don't they don't set the mood as well as the anime or the manga does. But why did you do that? I wanted you to dodge the side. Can you not do that? Oh crap, it's another one of this. Why do they keep giving me fights with Peklo where I have to fucking... That's bullshit. There's nothing you can do to avoid the uh, fucking solar flare. this cheap quality to them. Like, I, I don't want to say the game's cheap though, because it's, it's not a cheap quality. You? It's just... Why do you have Goku and Frieza's energy? You can tell the parts that they put a lot of effort into versus the parts they obviously cut corners. Like, it's a very clear contrast. 
I suppose I might as well tell you, seeing as how you'll be dead soon enough. I'm an android, you see, and you can call me by my name. Cell. Dr. Giraud created me in a lab on his computer. Huh? Dr. Giraud again? Long ago, Dr. Giraud gathered the genetic material from the strongest fighters in the world to create me, the ultimate android. But it took too long, so he abandoned the project. Fortunately, his computer picked up where he left off and continued his research. Um, Dr. Giraud never abandoned it. He left it to the computer to do because he knew he'd die before it. Cells from Goku, Piccolo, Vegeta, and even Frieza and his father were collected when they arrived on this planet using a tiny bee-sized spy robot created by Dr. Giro. The computer already has enough cells to begin its research, but the process is slow and it will take 24 years to complete. Yeah, napping, right? It sells too, yeah. Possible. We completely destroyed Dr. Giraud's laboratory. The computer is located in an underground facility deep beneath his laboratory. You mean it took you three years after arriving here to go from an egg to that? Once I revert to an egg, I must bury myself underground for three years. There my form matures. I see. One final question. I have to know. Why here? Why this time period? Dr. Giro's computer informed me that my evolution will morph two different life forms before I achieve perfection. And those two life forms are Android 17 and 18. What? Unfortunately, despite searching far and wide, I had quite a problem locating those pesky androids. It seems they were nowhere to be found in my era. This actually happens in the anime. The only difference is, is Piccolo uh, had his arm drained of its energy and he was wasting time to get the energy to regrow it. But in a stroke of luck, I learned that Trunks had a time machine. So I used my magnificent skills and abilities to kill Trunks and steal his time machine. Then I used it to travel here to find the androids. But why this point in history? And Trunks had already programmed the time. I just pressed a switch and the machine did the rest. Oh, I think I'm getting it now. Trunks was able to defeat the androids in his future and program the time machine for this time to come and tell us. That's not all the computer told me. It is said the moment I achieve my perfect form, I will acquire a power beyond all comprehension. Thanks for helping me solve this little mystery. But you're not getting that perfect form of yours. Piccolo! <sighs> A saint declined the duel. Trunks, what's he doing here? Ah, he used the time machine. How very clever of him. So, so this is the guy who attacked all those people in Ginger Town? He must be the thing that left the exoskeleton near the time machine. You got that right. I'll fill you in on the details later. First things first, we need to squash this bug. He's good. You gotta be the number after the name. <sighs> now may not be the best time to battle. Very well. But know this. Android 17 and 18 will be mine. So... <laughs> no! Wouldn't it be funny if he solar flared and then like dashed forward and grabbed Krillin and ran off? No! He got away! Damn. I can't get a trace on him. Like that scene in uh, Family Guy when uh, Michael Jackson uh, grabs the One kid the and huge power runs off. That showed up out of nowhere is gone now. Can't sense it. But the other one still remains. What, what is the meaning of this? Hello? Talk! What the hell?
hell happened here? Tien's apparently on his way here, too. Once he arrives, I'll tell you everything. Tell me one thing first. How did you increase your power so much in such a short period of time? It looks like he fused with Kami. That's all it took? What is it with all these low lives? How dare they attempt to surpass the greatest Super Saiyan in the universe? I can't stand this anymore. <laughs> Look what you've done, Kakarot. Looks like Tien's here. Cassine, we need your calming presence. Good. Here's what's going on. Oh, I see. So, to prevent Cell from achieving his perfect form, we either need to find him and kill him, or we need to find Android 17 and 18 and kill them. Those are our only options. If you ask me, our best bet is to take Cell out before he acquires too much power. Um, it's on my slime right now. I'm tired of all these pathetic tactics. I say we let him absorb the androids. I don't care who I'm up against. I will destroy them. Don't be naive, Vegeta. We could barely handle 17 and 18 ourselves, and Cell's much more powerful than them. It's not available for purchase for you guys yet, because I haven't made it available for purchase. But if people like them, I might. You dare underestimate my power? I'll become stronger. I swear I will. I will go beyond Super Saiyan. Beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? Hey, uh... Why don't we just go back to the lab and destroy Cell before he's finished? Good idea. Let's do that. At the very least, we'll create an alternate future where Cell doesn't exist. All right. Krillin and Trunks will go on and head back to the lab. Me and Tien will continue searching around here for the time being. Right. Well, if we come up empty, we'll just head back to Kami House. We can check the news for clues. Check the news for clues. Thanks. All right, we got Krillin with us again. We get to play as Trunks. Go beyond Super Saiyan? Is that even possible? All right. Well, we got a new area we can go to if you guys didn't see. Kill Miro and take his hat. Perhaps. But yeah, the hat my slime is wearing right now is the, uh... Is the, uh, hat I'm wearing. Well, one of them. There is another one. But you guys might not see that till later. I'm guessing we can't just go back into the past and scrap the androids there, right? Right. It's likely that anything we do in that timeline won't affect this one. Okay, so I'm curious. Um, Alright, so yeah, the only ones I have are these. On the back of the case for Spirit Hunter, there's a little warning. Weak. No cause for concern. Damn. And if we're able to destroy the androids and sell here, they're still going to exist in your future. Am I right? Yeah. But if Goku and the others can figure out their weaknesses here, I can go back to my future and defeat them myself. <laughs> Basic reading ability. Yeah. So should we just go ahead and blow it up? Not yet. We should head down there and see what we can find first. We might be able to discover something about how to defeat the androids. Ah, right. Then let's make our way inside. I think basic reading abilities needed to read these warnings. Yeah. Krill and Chunks checked the interior underground facilities of the lab. Afterwards, they destroyed the entire lab in order to prevent Cell from fully developing. Did it. Right. See, that's a cut corner right there. Now we could have a cool scene where they're finding things. We got an ace up our sleeve. Good call saying we should dig around the lab. I didn't think we'd actually be able to find the blueprints for Android 17 and 18. If we show these to my mother, she should be able to figure out how we can defeat them. True. Actually, would you mind taking this to my mother for me? I have something I need to do. Huh? You're not coming? No. I thought I'd do some training with my father. You're not coming? Not with that kind of effort. If he's able to go beyond Super Saiyan, 
Then I should too, with proper training. Well, Vegeta's not exactly a team player. He probably won't want to train with you. You may be right, but sparring with someone leads to greater results in a short amount of time. Even my father should know that. It's worth a shot, at least. Right. Sounds like you know what you're doing. Reading you loud and clear. Good luck! Thanks. <laughs> That's pretty funny, Christine. And then, shortly after this, is when that, uh... The monster is a bio-android from the future known as Cell. After claiming to need Android 17 and 18 to achieve perfection, he makes his escape. Uh, escape. Escape. Hey guys, join along for a boss fight. Then, Trunks sought out his father, Vegeta, while Krillin made his way to Bulma to deliver the blueprints. I like how the blueprints are on a standard sized piece of paper. Impressed and terrified by Dr. Jiro's genius, Bulma searched for the android's weakness. What would be a slime name for Krillin? Two, and then three days had passed. Piccolo and the others, using Kame House as their base, continued their hunt for Cell, but to no avail. They could do nothing but watch as news of more victims spread. The monster has made its way to a town in South District 48. Half the residents are gone. Hmm. So he's made his way south. Well, come on! We might still be able to catch him if we leave now. Good luck! It's during this time... That creep sure is a force to be reckoned with. It's during oh, this time that Marin leave? comes back. Go on, too? Great so. Go on. Please be careful. Krillin's basically a flesh clone samurai. That monster. <sighs> Goku. Hey. What? Goku didn't get up now. Better? Yeah, I'm all better now. What? Oh, thank goodness. Sorry to worry you, Chi Chi. And you too, Master Roshi. Did he? We're just glad you're back. Maybe he did. By the way, it looks like everyone left. Are they after that cell guy? Uh, yeah. But how did you know about him? I heard everyone talking while I was asleep. I think I got the gist of what's going on. Oh. I think I've got a train too. You're going to fight? No way. You're in no shape to fight. You need more rest. Relax, guys. I'm not gonna fight anyone just yet. I mean, if Vegeta can't handle him, then there's no way I can. I'm gonna have to train and reach even higher levels. Higher than even Super Saiyan. Uh, a level even higher than Super Saiyan? Chi Chi, I, I want to take Gohan with me when I'm training. Is that okay with you? You're kidding, right? Oh, I guess there's nothing I can do to stop you if I say no. Fine. If you're going to train him, then make him strong. Thanks, Chi-Chi. But once the fight's over, it's straight back to his studies and nothing else, no matter what. And you're going to get a job. You got it. Thank you. All right, time to go. Super duper saying. Uh, Dragon Ball Bridge has... Uh... A scene where Vegeta's standing on a rock and uh, Trunks is like sitting down there watching him, and he's like, "Notice me!" We in this thing. We won't have and Vegeta in the background's like, "No!" He's a crafty one. Even if we get close, we're still going to have to flush him out. Goku, yo, how did you get here? Kamikolo. Is it that instant transmission thing? Yep. You're back to 100 percent then. Yeah, but I'm kind of hungry. Hey, Camicolo. Oh, he did say it. Good. You don't have to combine our names. I'm mostly Piccolo, so just call me Piccolo. I hate to admit it, but I'm not powerful enough right now to take on the androids and that cell guy. 
but I think I've got an idea. I'm gonna take Gohan somewhere we can get a year's worth of training in one day. That's right. The hyperbolic time chamber, of course. Wait, no one has ever been able to last an entire year in there. Even you could barely last a whole month before. But things are different than before. We'll be fine. And don't forget, we can bring Vegeta and Trunks along with us. They'll be able to handle it for sure. Then get a move on. Cell's killing more and more people, and his power's growing every minute. Right. Goku, let me ask you something. Are you afraid we might be up against someone scarier than Frieza? Or are you happy about that? Both. <laughs> Steve. Well, I'm glad to see that you're not giving up. There's that. Go on, let's go. We'll grab Vegeta and Trunks on the way. Okay. If you're still there, Christine, there's a thing in Dragon Ball Z called uh, Super Saiyan, Super Saiyan 2, Super Saiyan 3, Super Saiyan 4. Then there's Super Saiyan God. And after Super Saiyan God is Super Saiyan God, Super Saiyan. Where do you think Vegeta and Trunks are training? Yeah. Let's see. It's fucking dumb. Anyway, Christine, thank you for stopping by. Way over there. I'm guessing it might be them. It's a lot of fun having you here. <laughs> it's ridiculous, right? Bye bye. I will chat with you later if you want. Alright, can I learn anything new with you? I don't think I can. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, it doesn't look like anything is unlocked for Goku. I haven't been able to play as Gohan in a while. Right, I'll just recover. Uh, no, Super Saiyan 4 isn't from Dragon Ball Z or Dragon Ball Super. It's only in GT. Um, so whether they choose to include it later. They might, but for now it's not, and I don't see how it could possibly be stronger than Super Saiyan God or Blue, so. Although. So Dad, this place we're going to train, what's it like? Let's see, the hyperbolic time chamber at Kami's lookout. Rather than tell you what it's like, I'll just show you when we get there. Yeah. Okay, so we got no extra bonus stuff to do, so we gotta just go find Vegeta and... Yeah, so... Yeah, Super Saiyan 4 is not canon anymore. Cell continues to drain the population of their life energy. Goku makes a full recovery, but instead of confronting Cell directly, he chooses to head to the hyperbolic time chamber to train. You think Super Saiyan 4 fusioned Golden Monkey? Um, I don't remember uh, the Golden Monkey being stronger than Super Saiyan 4 because he had to change into the Golden Monkey to change into Super Saiyan 4. Um, Super Saiyan Gochita was the strongest being in the universe, so. Super Saiyan 4, I mean. This thing's giving off a lot of energy. <laughs> I can tell this thing's got lots of energy. Okay, we're gonna fly through this and then we'll go to the uh This thing's giving off a lot of Except for Vegeta's dad stash. Yeah. A fucking ridiculous dad stash. Vegeta seems to like this area. Vegeta's energy. And trunks! Goku! So, how's your training going? Not very well. My father's treating me like an obstacle rather than a training partner. He's been like that for three days now. Just standing there. Seeing uh, Gushida in Dragon Ball uh, Super Broly was awesome. Yeah, and the fact that he's now canon. For you. If I had to guess, I'd say he's probably thinking about how to go beyond Super Saiyan. Don't bother me, Kakarot. 
Get lost. Oh, come on. Don't be like that. I know a great place to train. It's called the Hyperbolic Time Chamber. You can get a year's worth of training there in just one day. It's up at Kami's Lookout. Are you serious? Seriously. Come with us. You don't have to train with me or anything if you don't want to. Just so you know, two people can use the room at once. So to save time, you're going to have to go in with trunks. Fine. But we're going in first. Got it. Sure. Sure. Hello, Windrig. All right, we're going to stop this recording. I used the room once before when I was a lot younger. It was beyond brutal in there. I could only stay in there for about a month. Perfect. That's exactly what I need. 